How is the song written from your perspective? From my perspective, it was... <laughs> Holy shit! Do the struggles of life sometimes get you down? Is it time to let them have it? Don't get glad, get now. My favorite line... And now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna fuck up trying to say what it is. <laughs> Um, I'll help in, you. <laughs> yeah, 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 please do. It's in the second verse of Glad. Um, projection at its finest. We apologize, Your Highness. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then there's the, the other half of it that I don't know. <laughs> we're, we're not playing this song. <laughs> it's just know that what is mine is minus you and plus happiness. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. I, like, I love singing that. I love singing that. It's just got such a flow to it you know the music all drops out and it's just two aggressive vocal harmonies and like a really hard hitting kick uh, it's one of my favorites to sing anyways live um yeah and i think it's i think it's one of my favorites as well to listen to actually it's just so you know to the point you know like i think all the lyrics in glad are to the point you know it's easy to understand it's relatable i think it's relatable if you have somebody that you're angry with. I think it's relatable if you're the person who's wrong somebody, right? Um, yeah. My favorite lyric for Vlad. Hmm. Can't think of any. I think my favorite lyric from Glad is when you guys say Glad because that's the song title and that's really fun when, you, when a band says the song title in the song. Yeah, that's the one when you guys say Glad. <laughs> okay, what? That's going to be an oncoming theme. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. Ooh, Glad lyric. I really. Emotionally, I think just simply, um, Glad, glad, glad you've gone away is actually my favorite because it's almost the climax of the song and people really know what we're talking about. I know what we're talking about. So it hits me hard. It's powerful to me. And you kind of know what the song's kind of based on after that instead of guessing. Favorite lyric from Glad. I think I definitely know what it is. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, but it's, it's the whole line. Um, because it took a lot for me to write. It was so difficult, but once I did it, I was so satisfied. Um, uh, <laughs> but, but saying them without singing them is hard to remember. Projection at its finest. We apologize, your highness. Just know that what is mine is minus you and plus happiness. Shit, we should have called the album Happiness. Um, that's a tough one. There's so many good lines, <laughs> I think. I'm trying to remember what it is. <laughs> there's, there's so many, there's so many lyrics, like there's so many lines in the verses that could be sung anywhere. So I'm like, what is it? I literally thought you were just like, you know what? This is a good time to make that bit happen. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about it. Too. I was like, oh my god, there's that. There's reaction. Leave it to that. Yeah, I, it. I wish we that he was about this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll probably keep that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, there's so many. <laughs> um, this song is full of lyrics. <laughs> what is it? I want to say it was. I, was, I wanted to say a baby more than a rebel, but then it's a baby who always came first, so it's something more than a rebel. A failure more a failure than, more than a rebel. Failure more than a rebel. That's what I'm trying to say. A baby, <laughs> baby <laughs> rebel? <laughs> what are them baby rebels? And I was like, no, that's not right. That's and it's weird. got all these lines that can be kind of. You could sing them anywhere and they kind of make sense. So I was like, Fuck, which one is it? I like to create a puzzle for you to later be interviewed about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a failure uh, more than a rebel. Yeah, and then a baby who always came first. Mm -hmm. Right, that's the whole yeah, that's the whole thing, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so okay, well that's it. Right. 
favorite lyric in Low Budget Funeral is the title itself. Because it's actually, yeah, yeah. It can be pretty difficult for families to afford funerals for their past loved ones. So it's, it's a nice thought that you can have a, like a, a cheap funeral for your loved one. It's, it's very expensive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> LBF, we call it, a little budget funeral. <clears throat> Your box is made out of pine. You kind of begin to get the concept of the song, and I think it's it's on the lighter fare too of the singing, the dynamics of the song, and when it's when it's stated, I really agree where it is. And it's quiet but powerful to me. Your bed is made out of feathers, but your box is made out of pine. I. Uh... I had troubles because I, I, I found rhymes of different things, but I really, really wanted it to say your bed is made out of feathers and your box is made out of pine. Because, you know, you put a pine wood box, a soldier or someone that gets buried in a pine wood box. And, and just the thought of the comfort of somebody being able, being able to sleep in a feather bed. I thought of many, many different things, but my favorite thing ultimately regardless of the rhyme was your bed is made out of feathers but your box is made out of pine meaning right now you sleep in a comfy bed but eventually you're gonna be dead in the bed. Okay. Uh, it's my favorite part too. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I straightened it out. Oh god, that hurts so bad. Um, okay, uh, from.